on the rim of the high plateau in central Spain, a little over 120 kilometers from Madrid, you look over the valley of Rio Mayor. In this untouched valley, the landscape is almost like it was 3,000 years ago. Indeed, a railroad line and a road have been laid, but otherwise, there's only scenery, pure nature. No noise, no people. The air is clean and the view unforgettable. The quiet, the untouched landscape, the rich colouring of the fields and stones, plus the vastness. The only vineyard far and wide was founded by the Uribes family. In 1979, with the planting at weekends of the first small block with Garnacha wines, a 30-year family history began marked by the simple joy of wine. The vineyard at Bodega Calzadilla starts climbing upward from 1,000 meters. The young plants stand in this breezy elevation, resisting wind and weather. The grapevines were planted in sparse vegetation, which is mingled with herbs. Francisco Arribes' training as an architect was a great asset to have, as he rebuilt the ruins of what was later to become Bodega Calzadilla. Many practical ideas were brought in and perfected during the construction phases. The grapevines are planted around the Bodega Calzadilla. Because nothing was planted here before, the earth is neither contaminated nor compacted. It's virgin soil and free from any residues. Here, it's no problem to operate an organic vineyard. The harvest takes place between mid-September and the beginning of October. The healthy, ripe grapes are, like always, picked by hand. This allows for a first selection of the grapes to be carried out directly in the vineyard, thus making it possible to reach for a high level of quality. Before the grapes are processed further, they disappear into the refrigerated room. This modern quality measure preserves the fruit and aromas. The grapes' journey from vineyard to cellar is extremely short and therefore easily controlled one of the determining factors in the vinification of first-class wines. As is done with most of the world's premium wines, the grapes are once again checked by hand before vinification, and any flawed grapes are eliminated immediately. This is indeed a costly practice, yet for the good of the wine it's of greatest importance. Only so do fully ripe, healthy grapes with 1A quality end up in the fermentation tanks. There's no compromise when it comes to quality at Bodega Calzadilla. Francisco Uribe's first wine was fermented in clay jars in a small hand-built cellar which he had discovered in the region. They are witnesses to an exciting wine history that had its beginnings here. Since then, with reflection, selection and a lot of expertise and love of detail, a bodega has been crafted that is balanced and convincing in character. The aging of the young wine takes place in oak barrels, the so-called barrique. For this purpose, an architecturally interesting underground cellar was built, which completely meets the high production standards. Teamwork at Bodega Calzadilla is not an empty word, but is a daily, lived-out reality. Francisco Uribes, his daughter Paula, herself a trained enologist, and Alfonso Torrente, the winemaker, sample the young wine regularly during the aging process. Despite all the techniques and proven analysis methods, the sensory appraisal of the wine during the aging stage is and remains an indispensable measure for quality assurance. Thereby, it counts to be attentive and every barrel must be tested for quality. What Bodega Calzadilla undertakes in order to offer quality to wine connoisseurs is explained by the founder and owner, Francisco Uribes. We find ourselves in the large wine cellar of Bodega Calzadilla. 
It's an underground tunnel where over 169,000 bottles are stored. The wines spend over three years here during the last phase of the aging process. We believe this is an extremely important phase for the wine, rounding it out and allowing its character and aromatic balance to develop. We feel that this should take place in the winery and not in the consumer cellar. This tradition of aging the bottles has disappeared from many wineries. However, we have remained true to it and consider this to be an important part of our quality philosophy. It was from Madrid that Francisco Uribes started following his calling as a winemaker, step by determined step. He had no idea about vineyards and wine production at the beginning. Everything was self-taught from books. He used the system of learning by trial and error and had to pay dearly. Until the first vintage, which measured exactly 3,000 litres of bottled wine, saw the light of day, many years had passed. Years of intensive vine planting, tending the grapes and gathering experience in both the vineyards and in the cellar. The work, however, eventually paid off. Already with the 1993 vintage, the national press took notice of Bodega Calzadilla and published lengthy articles about the winery, bestowing it with high ratings. With Paula Oribes, Francisco's daughter, the next generation now stands ready to walk in her father's footsteps. Small but exquisite is how the diverse assortment of Bodega Calzadilla presents itself. Since the bodega's founding, particular bottles are always set aside in order to be able to deliver these wines for tasting events. For this, Francisco Oribes has set up a small private cellar below his estate, where he keeps rarities and wine treasures. The first vintage 1991 was produced for personal consumption and friends. Then with the 1992 vintage, the business really took off. The Bodega Calzadilla has attained the exclusive Pago status. The Spanish press writes about them. And the world-famous Formula One pilot, Fernando Alonso, leaves the production of his own cuvee to them. If that isn't proof of quality.